the most peaceful monster of them all. Shomenki. Yeah, so this is a direct reference to Monster Hunter 19. And I and I'm still working on this. I'm still working on this. Um, I need to um need to finish the underbelly a little bit. Then um, I'm not sure if I will add wings, but um, probably will. Actually, I probably won't actually. And like, fall off. There's a second. Okay, so um, I'm gonna show you a bit of the um, anatomy a little bit. So um, again with the um, monstrous major flaw video that can get her killed. I've actually got a video to prove to prove that that is also that she is extremely vulnerable because her legs, her um, her um, her leg is connected to her abdomen. So I basically remedy that by putting another segment here, which I have also implemented that on here. See, which I can also help with walking as well. And you also are probably wondering why her legs are like this. It's because this thing doesn't walk like Mothra does. It walks more like a Muto, just a just design choice. Which, um, is shown here with the, um, her leg position. Which is, excuse me. I also wanted, I also wanted, um, the eyes to have a lot of mo movement. So it's basically like eye instead of eye. So you got like this eye here. But this you got like you got like an outer shell that actually moves as well. You got an inner eye that moves inside of the outer eye. It's kinda weird. It's really weird. Yeah, and um and also also this na its name is Chomenki. It's it's kinda like a bee or a wasp, I guess, or something like that. Or it can change his gender, which, um, his gender, actually, like, how, like, how you can tell his gender, where, um, it's, like, so, like, see, so there's, like, this little patch here, which, that can change color from purple, so purple means male, and then a turquoise blue means it's a female, and also, also the wings also are clear as well, kind of like a jellyfish skin, I guess, kind of. Not like those sponge dry jellyfish, but um, like you know, like some jelly, no, like kind of like bioluminescent jellyfish sort of thing, I guess. Where um, we're like we're like we're like it's kind of like purples and greens and blues. Where like it's supposed to look a bit like the northern lights, you know, just for that effect. And also, I also spoilers, tiny spoilers. Also, Mothra also Mothra nineteen has a stinger, which um. Maybe you'll see this. Um, I tried to do the um, I tried to make a singer, but I wanted the singer to be attractive as well. Yeah, and also um, just a second, I'm gonna get something else. Okay, so you may be confused why um I have this right now. Um, I just want to show you. I'll put a description on this. She is a creature of of pain and suffering. Her only desire is destruction, and death. Yeah, she is pretty evil. <laughs> then I also got war right here as well. Just wanted to do a bit of a design update. So um, nothing much may have seen changed to this, but um, but um, I got like um, but um, and I know this is a bit off topic, but um, I I did a little bit of design uh, a bit of design updates to some characters as well. Here's No No Miji, and with that. This is nothing important. This is that. Just a second. Here it is. This is designed. This is a redesign the wing for Amora. And then I am also doing a redesign of um, Koko Masura Gen Two, I believe. Yeah, Gen Two. Yeah, that. Yeah, the, the other one was just a monstrosity. Yeah, this. So far, what I got on, the, what I got on this looks a lot better, in my opinion. Anyway, this has been Retro Productions. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. Here we go. Bye.